often used to make themselves feel nice. It also can boost someone's confidence to undergo their daily life. Perfume is a mixture of fragrant essential oil, aromatic compounds, and solvent that used to give a pleasant sense. There are many kinds of different brands and perfume that exist and popular all around the world such as Brusek, Calvin Klein, and Victoria's Secret. Want to know more about perfume? Stay with us! The word perfume comes from the Latin word perfumus, which means through smoke. The first invention of perfume is from the Egyptian, where they utilized scents in everything from religious ceremonies to burial preparations and even daily wear. The rich elites of Egyptian society would adorn themselves with aromas like lily to indicate their status. Archaeologists recently uncovered a perfume factory from 2000 BC located in Cyprus. However, perfume began to be produced commercially in Paris in 1190 and from there it blossomed into an enormous industry until now. Talking about ingredients in perfume, today many perfume utilize synthetic scents such as parabens and patelin. There are also some natural substances such as flowers, fruit, grasses, woods that is used in this perfume. There are also some examples of earth natural substances, alcohol, petroleum and coal. Perfumers cause the ingredient used to make a sense last as fixative. They linger themselves on the skin longer as they evaporate slowly. Additional ingredients also used as a fixative. For example, resins and gum. They slow down the sense lost through the molecular structure, which slow the evaporation rate of other ingredients. The next is low volatility essence. The last one is dracolin glycol. A small amount of DPG can extend the life of fuel, but not more than 2 to 5 percent of it. Otherwise, it will be sticky to be used. There are three steps on how we can make the perfume. The first one is extraction method. In this method, we obtain oil from plants and flowers. After extracting the oil, the next step is blending the oil. The alcohol is mixed into concoction so that the ingredient will dissolve to obtain certain formula. The amount of alcohol mixed will determine what this mixture turns out to be. Perfume usually takes about 15% of the alcohol. Finally, the egging process. The mixture of perfume are set inside and placed in a dark and cool area. Remain undisturbed to maintain its quality for a long time to have combined the alcohol and oil together. After the storage, experts will undergo several tests to obtain the desired scents from the mixture. Finally, we have the perfume. Diffusion is the tendency of the particles of a gas to move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. The molecules of perfume are in a gaseous state. Perfume is very volatile. It evaporates easily, changing its phase from liquid to a gas as the particles are bonded by a weak attractive force only. These compounds will also eventually evaporate to form a vapour of the fragrant molecules. The vapour then diffuses through the air, spreading the sand. They collide and then mix with the molecules of air in the room and undergo random motion at all times as they absorb heat from the room temperature. This process happens very fast as the particles in gases move very quickly in all directions. We are at the end of our documentary about the chemistry of perfume. It is important to understand the origin of perfume that we use every day, which is perfume. Throughout this video, we have studied the method used to make the perfume and identify the substance that make our perfume last longer. Last but not least, we have studied about the how particles in the perfume move across the room. We hope you enjoy this video and thank you.